Well, okay, we may not know much about these Chinese balloons, but then again, do we know much about the economy? Are we headed for a double-dip recession? Joining me now is Robert Heller, former Reagan-appointed Federal Reserve governor and old friend Robert Heller. Welcome back. You, um, you've been arguing a double-dip recession. I guess the first dip was the first half of last year. But now people are getting bullish about the economy. Uh, some people are. So I wonder what your thinking was. Well, my thinking is still unchanged. I see the money supply plunging right now. It has been going down in absolute terms since April uh, of last year. So that will have an effect on the economy. And I see a second half of that double dip recession coming in the middle of this year. You know, it's funny, money supply, uh, there's only a handful of, of us who have mentioned this, but it hasn't gone away. It keeps falling. The index of leading indicators keep falling. The yield curve is very inverted. And I was uh, arguing last week, I mentioned you, not in vain, of course, and Wayne Angel and Manley Johnson, commodity prices have stabilized, which is, I think, a very interesting part. So let me ask you, Bob Heller, uh, is the inflation, disinflation going to continue? It's not over, I get that, but the Fed has made progress. What are you thinking there? Yes, the worst of the inflation is definitely over. We had uh, two years of 25% increases in the money supply, and that was reflected then in very high commodity prices, high producer prices, and then high consumer prices. But we're over that hump. It's coming down. But that doesn't mean that the economy will be booming right away. And the Federal Reserve still has more work to do, as uh, Chairman Powell says, interest rates have to become positive. At the moment, the Fed funds rate is still in real terms, in inflation-adjusted terms, it is still uh, negative. So uh, that will have to be overcome by the Federal Reserve by raising rates a bit more. Robert Heller, it's just you took the question right out of my mouth. Um, how much more do you think they have to go? Well, probably another percent or so will do it. Uh, because also, as we were arguing before, inflation will come down, so the two will meet in the middle. Inflation is coming down a little bit, interest rates going up a bit more, so the two will cross probably in two, three uh, months or something like that. And after that, uh, the Federal Reserve will have its foot on the brake rather than on the accelerator paddle, which they still have at the present time. So you're thinking um, uh, 6%, nearly 6% Fed funds rate. That's about right. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, you're a, that's an above estimate, above consensus uh, estimate. Interesting point. Uh, last one. Some people are saying to the Fed, financial conditions, meaning bond yields have come down and stock prices have gone up. Stocks are up again today. They've had a pretty good rally year to date. That indicates financial conditions are too easy, and the Fed has to be much, much tougher. But, you know, consumer loan rates uh, are very high and prohibitive, and as you just mentioned, the money supply has plunged. I mean, you think the Fed should be looking at the stock and bond market as financial conditions are too easy? No, I don't think the Fed should be looking at the stock market. Certainly, it's not a goal of the Federal Reserve to make stocks go up. It's a byproduct that will happen. But you cannot steer the economy by, uh, by the stock market. Bonds is a little bit different story. If you have an inverted yield curve, you will essentially have a precursor of a recession. This is a signal that the recession is likely to come. And we have that again at the present time, where short-term bond yields are higher than the long-term yields. And that is a pretty good indicator of a coming recession. And therefore, I stick with my double dip. All right. Well, you know, you and I agree a lot. All these years, we agree. <laughs> Robert Heller, thank you. You're very kind. We appreciate it very much.